and welcome to another episode of Launch Code Decoded, where we go behind the scenes of the hottest tech events, products, and services. Today, I'm joined by my friend Brian McClymans of Peerless AV. Thanks for joining me today, Brian. Well, thanks for having me, Megan. It's yeah. really exciting to get back together with you on these types of uh, projects. Yeah, I love it. And I'm going to see you next week at DSE. So we're so That's even more that. important. Face-to-face yes. interactions. So as we wrap up 2022, can you give me a recap of Peerless AV's proudest digital signage moments for 2022? So in 2022, uh, we did a lot of outdoors. So those are some of our proudest moments. We've done projects uh, with some of our cruise ship terminals, as well as uh, the San Francisco 49ers. So this year, it's been all about outdoor for us. Uh, Digital signage has really transformed into outdoor And I think that as people are coming back together face to face, they want to have entertainment outdoors. And so that's that's been probably our biggest excitement uh, with with getting into digital science. Do you think that was like the that trend is was affected by COVID when people literally had to be outside all the time? Or do you think it would have come anyways? Yeah, no, I I think it it absolutely is something that's happened. I think people are are much more in tuned into getting into outdoor venues and they they want to get out. They want to be outside. I mean, you're seeing a lot more concerts uh, outside. Uh, They're filling major football stadiums, less and less indoors, and they're doing a lot more outdoors. So I think it is absolutely a trend. Some of the the large uh, three or four day concert venues uh, are starting to populate as well as you're starting to see Formula One and NASCAR starting to put their venues into, you know, downtown Las Vegas or downtown Chicago. And they're already talking to us about digital signage outdoors. That's exciting. So continuing to look back at 2022, what has been your favorite digital signage trends this year? Uh, Again, the outdoors is probably one of the biggest trends, but I, I have gotten to see, and I think everybody has seen some of the um, digital signage applications that are up for awards next week at Digital Signage uh, Experience. I'm blown away because as a for, former DSF member, uh, we actually used to get to see those early and in, in ahead of time for many years. I actually think the uh, applicants this year far surpassed the past 10 years uh, combined. And so I'm pretty blown away. We actually have a submittal that we feel is fantastic um, that's up for an award. But there's several product projects that are out there in the same application that are amazing as well. So it's it is pretty cool to see bigger, uh, especially with direct view LED. They're bigger and more me, you know overwhelming. Tell me a little bit about your project that's up for an award. Well, it's a project that we actually did at the uh, Native American uh, uh, Museum in Oklahoma. We did it with Ford AV and Absin, and we did a curved uh, LED wall that was uh, quite you, you know experiential. Uh, in their museum, and they wanted to have it kind of highlight and and bring people into their museum experience and, and feel the power of of what they're trying to show. And and it really it really translated very well uh, with the digital signage uh, that we put in there. And that is the first Americans Museum of Oklahoma, correct? Correct. Yes, I just yes. want to mention that that actually was one of our inaugural. Launch Code Out of This World Experiences Award earlier this year. That was a finalist. It, it, it's a great installation. So if you're in the area, be sure to check it out. Yeah. yeah. And so, we're actually even talking about another project. Uh, Kevin McDonald is actually speaking at one of the stages at DSE about uh, a project at the Savoy Auto Museum, uh, the, another digital signage application we'd, we did with Direct LED this year. So that'll actually be something that people can listen to live uh, and see. Awesome. So looking at next year, what digital signage trends do you think are going to hit in 2023? So I think that what's going to happen with direct view LED is is actually going to finally happen. I think that COVID really slowed down the expanse of direct view LED. We've seen it at trade shows for the past 10 years. Uh, A lot of booths show direct view LED uh, in their booths and what can be done, but not everybody has seen some of the applications. We actually did a project in Las Vegas, uh, right before COVID started that many people haven't seen. It's actually at a convention center. It's a giant corner wall at Caesars Convention Center in Las Vegas. And not many people have seen it because they haven't been able to get face to face with those applications. But uh, digital signage throughout with DBLED can get bigger, better. You can literally paint walls with digital. And I think that's the trend that you're going to see a lot more 
uh, going forward. Yeah, adding on to that, though, part of that trend that I am personally excited about is using technology as art, because a lot of times they'll donate, you know, a couple minutes a day or each hour to just displaying digital art, which I think is a really neat thing for the public to see. And you're not just always worried about, you know, ads on eyeballs or eyeballs on ads. Yeah. Have you seen the the oh the takeovers that they do at in Times Square um, in yeah. New York? Yeah. That is unbelievable. They started doing that maybe 10 years ago and they do devote maybe you know, a minute to it. And they would just let somebody take over all of the uh, outdoor DVLED in New York Times Square. They're doing it more and more now. And they're letting artists really kind of canvas that and, and kind of give people an experience. And that's something that I used to experience when I'd go to uh, Asia and go to either Singapore or uh, uh, Shanghai, mainly uh, on the Bund. Uh, where they actually take over all of the buildings at once for about 10 minutes every hour. Uh, it's in concert, video, audio, and they overtake the entire buildings uh, and, and show a kind of a feeling of what the city is about. And, and millions of people see that every year. And so I think yeah, that you're going to see that it. more and more. You get uh, so anywhere. immersed and engaged when it does that. You know, And at the end of the day, that's better for your ads because people are looking at the screen waiting to see if there's some art piece that's going to come up yes for sure for sure so we talked about this briefly you're going to be heading to vegas soon for dse 2023 why are you excited about the show uh we're excited to show people some of the products that we have we're going to show some of the highlights of dv led that we've done we're going to highlight our uh, outdoor uh, displays that we have in applications whether they're drive-through menu boards or into smart city kiosks we've deployed several of those smart city style kiosks over the past uh, two years. Um, but now we're going to be able to let people see it face to face and kind of come up with their ideas and how they can use it for their applications. Exciting. So thanks for joining me today, Brian. If people want to connect with you or Peerless AV, where should they go? They can visit us on our website at peerless-av.com or join us next week at Digital Signage Experience. Don't forget to check out Peerless AV at DSE 2022 in booth 816. And if you're heading to the show but haven't registered, head to digitalsignageexperience.com and use code RAVEGIFT during registration for a free exhibit hall pass.